Hey, hey guys, so as per the waffle blog last week, um, here is basically the first thing that we should be no longer collecting, well I should no longer be collecting, which is the Lego lines. Um, but I did pick this one up just before I decided that I was going to start collecting them. Um, it's one of the most recent sets, it's set five, uh, 75040. So uh, let's take a look at this bad boy. Before we take a look at the vehicle itself, obviously we're going to have a quick look at the minifigures. This is Obi-Wan Kenobi. Uh, comes with his, oh man, Electro Staff, Vibro Staff. Uh, I did remember it just before I did this review, but as always you forget things, so... Here's a look at the figure itself. Um, as per Lego recently, they have started painting the legs, which is nice. It gives it a little more little more detail on there and they've started to do the backs as well so you can see all the little pouches there and around the front as well which is a really nice touch um, obviously the hair is removable but it has got a second head we'll just turn that round you can see it's got a more aggressive face on there as he's fighting General Grievous so pretty awesome On to what LEGO classes as a new figure, it's the General Grievous figure, which I'm pretty sure everybody will be getting this for. Um, you do get all four lightsabers, I didn't add anything extra, you do get all four, which is really awesome of them to include. Um, so we'll take a look at this guy now. You can take away um, two of the arms, they actually just connect onto the sides of his arms, um, but you can just remove these. So he's down to just two lightsabers, and also you can have a quick look at the lightsabers there as well. Absolutely gorgeous colours on these, absolutely love that. And onto the figure itself, so here he is. Um, yeah, he's, he's an interesting figure. His, his arms are actually, um, well his shoulders are kind of at an angle, so as you move them up, it, yeah, it starts to move towards his face. So he's, he's going to cut his own face off, but you know, that, that's fine. Let's just put these down for a moment so you can take a look at the face. Head moves up and down, nothing overly special, and obviously the legs move forward and back. They even put detail on the arms here as well, which I think is really nice. They didn't have to do that, they could have just left it grey, but they've taken the time to do that. And again, I'm just going to give you a quick look at the head here, because it is pretty awesome. They see me rolling, they hidden. Now it's on to the vehicle that you get included in this pack. Um, this whole pack retails at about £19.99. Not entirely sure what it is in America, probably like $25, maybe $20. Um, so, yeah. Just going to give you a quick show of the vehicle now. This thing takes forever to build. The wheel does spin, um, unfortunately due to my table being shiny, uh, it doesn't really want to do it, but uh, there you go, I just use my fingers. Around the other side you have got a little push missile here, so if you just, uh, there's a little grey piece sticking out here, just push on that, and that was pretty flimsy. <laughs> just going to give you a quick look at one of these little patches here. There's basically 12 of these that you have to make uh, and connect them all together, so that may take you a while, but there you go. So basically just this black section up to this is one piece, and there's 12 of them, so have fun making that. Just like all of the other wheel bikes that have ever come out in any form, um, this does turn into its walking mode, which... I think you only briefly see for a couple of seconds in the film. I don't even think it was shown in the Clone Wars, which is a shame, because I would like to see a bit more of this. Um, but that ne never really took place. So, yeah. But it does do that, so that's pretty cool. It does also come with this little purple section, which was used in the film to kind of show off him starting up the vehicle. So, that's pretty cool. I like the way they've done that. In addition to that, the gifts keep on coming, and at the back here it does have storage for one little blaster, which just tabs on with a little hook, 
And there you go. And there we go, guys. That was the review of the Star Wars General Grievous bike chase item thing. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. It's the final ever Lego set I'll ever purchase. Um, so moving forward, there won't be any more of these, I'm afraid. But I hope you've enjoyed all the previous Lego reviews that I've done prior. And until next time, I shall see you all later. Hmm.